Hey friends, welcome to my craft room. This tour is so long overdue, so let's just hop right into it and show all the scoop on my new space. I want to say thank you as well for everyone who has stopped in to visit with me today and to watch this video. All right, when you come down the stairs into our basement, that is where my craft room is in our new home. And the space is actually a very large space. I feel so blessed to have this space because it's able to host pretty much all of my stuff in here. And we also have room to put a small gym in here so that I can work out when the weather gets kind of bad outside to not be able to go out inside and walk. One of the things I'm really excited about is that I actually have a wet bar sink area in this area where I can be able to wash my paint brushes and plates anytime I'm ever using those type of supplies. And because this space is so large, I was able to pick up some of the IKEA PAX system cabinets to be able to host a lot of my off-season stuff as well. In my other craft room, you'll know that I definitely did not have this kind of space. And this is one of the reasons why we moved to this home was that I was able to use this space down in the basement for my filming area, for my work area, and to be able to have it all in one get to space. So I don't have to try to go up to the garage or the sunroom. It, I feel so blessed to be able to have this area to work in. So these cabinets, when I did my makeover in the other house, these cabinets I purchased from Ikea. I love them. But the one thing I will say, I wish that they had backs on them because they have, you can see this wood bar right here. They have this small wood bar that allows, you know, things to not slide off of the shelf. But anytime I try to put something higher than that, if it gets bumped when I go to reach to grab things, it does fall. So I like to use bins like this so that these little items don't fall off the shelf. And it did help organizing that area a little bit better. But again, I, I do have a plan to put backs on them. I'm going to purchase some board and batten and do that. This corner right here is my sewing area. It's where I keep all my sewing supplies because I do love to sew. I've been sewing since I was six. That was honestly the first craft I learned how to do with my mom. And then over here on this side of these cabinets, I've got just a bunch of random supplies in these boxes. I've got a lot of wood supplies that I use all the time throughout my videos and my button collection. <laughs> I actually really love collecting vintage buttons and just random buttons whenever I see them at stores. I think they're so cute. I've got them separated by color. I've got this vintage phone. This was a phone that I had from my childhood growing up that I took and I've been holding on to for years and years. And then here are my paints. And this is kind of what I was talking about because the paints are a little bit higher than that back shelf piece. Anytime I reach for those back paints, sometimes they can fall behind the cabinet. So I will be fixing that cabinet situation in this new year. I also like to keep close by a large tiered tray. This allows me to be able to put up supplies that I'm working with. So whenever I'm working with ribbons for a certain season, I'll kind of switch them out and I'll put them all on that tray and it lets me be able to grab them really quick, which helps whenever I'm filming and I'm rushing and I'm trying to get projects done for a video. These scissors I have had for years. I have people ask me about them all the time. I got them from Home Goods probably like 10 years ago and I have just held on to them and kept taking really good care of them and now I have them mounted in the middle of my craft room. Over to the left of my station, this is where I have a lot of my scrapbook supplies, but the bottom cabinets here, this is where I keep a lot of my Dollar Tree supplies. So you can see in these fabric square tote containers, I like to keep them separated by what they are. So this is my metal section, and then I've got down below some frames for different projects that I like to use here and there. And then on the next cabinet over, I've got more rope and garlands, 
that kind of stuff that's along a long strand some extra yarn that's in these ones too as well um, some moss so every single section has their own theme I will say it is not as organized as I want it to be but you all know craft rooms are a work in progress so now that I've got myself in the space I'm now working on organizing each bin, purging things that I know I'm not going to use anymore. I'm trying to be so much better about that in this space. So this is the desk that I sit at, that I film at. To the right and the left I have these IKEA drawers and the one to the right is the one I open every single time. The top one has all of my tools, the second drawer has all of my adhesive, the third drawer has all of my screws and bolts, the fourth drawer has my ridiculous zip tie collection. <laughs> I use zip ties all the time, but I'm sure you guys know if you watch this channel. And then the bottom one, I've got my saw and my drill bits, hammer, and funny enough, some thank you cards. I have those in there too, so sometimes I sit down and write thank you cards there. Over here on this side, the top drawer is really the one that is filled the most. All the other ones are kind of not full. This one I've been kind of collecting all of these rubber molds so I can start doing some fun new projects coming up in this new year. And then this caddy, it's meant to be for doing chores around your house, but I love this caddy because I hold my hot glue in there. I've got scissors and all kinds of other goodies. Don't forget to come over and check me out also on Instagram because I share sneak peeks all the time when I'm in this room working on stuff. So if you're not over there, pop on over and say hi. I'd love to say hi to you over there as well. All right, when you come away from these back cabinets where I film, then you see my scrapbook section. If you don't know, I actually was a professional scrapbooker for about 13 years and I even owned my own scrapbook company. It was called Chickenity and that was my childhood baby nickname that I named it that. But you can see actually one of my books that's sitting there. I was invited to do a signature series book with um, Northridge Publication. And anyway, I'm getting ready to switch out all my scrapbook supplies. I got to do a fun little shopping spree to update my supplies because a lot of the things I have are from seriously seven years, eight years ago. And they're all still really great supplies, but I really want to get back into... Um, just the publication side of scrapbooking. I miss that side and I miss working with all those friends in that industry as well. So that's my scrapbook section. You can see below I've got all the papers in there. I've got these new caddies that I'm going to be organizing my embellishments. It's a fun space that I'm going to have to be able to work with when I'm doing scrapbooking stuff. And I do have a scrapbook channel. It's called Heidi Sample Paper Crafting. I'll link it down below so you can find it if you want to look for it. And then in the new year, I'll have some videos that are coming up on that channel. So when you turn over to the right, or like when you first come down the stairs and you go to the right, you'll see my workspace. This is where I edit all my videos. This is where I respond to comments. And then this is where I also do a lot of my planning for projects and things that I'm working on. This is my special little section that keeps me organized. And then I have a couple of favorite trinkets like this white rose. When my oldest graduated from high school, he gave me that white rose at his graduation. And I dried it out and preserved in a little close jar. And then I have their photos of the people I work hard for. And then my little miniature mini people that I DIY'd about a year and a half, two years ago. I've got that sitting there too. And then I've got my scriptures here to try to encourage myself to do some spiritual time each day got my phone my pencil sharpener because I just I, I love still writing my notes down I'm very much so a notes person so I like having a pencil sharpener close by and then over here in these drawers I've got just all of my everyday supplies I use for in an office space and an extra scrunchie because <laughs> I just like putting my hair up when I'm working. I also like to keep those museum putty dots. I use those a lot too in my space whenever I'm working on things. I have a huge collection of pens. I really love pens. I love calligraphy. 
I just think pens are so fun and they come in so many colors. So you're going to see as I'm going through all these drawers, you're going to see a lot of pens, different types. But I've got my Pantone color books for Adobe in here. I've got my Cricut tools. Again, a lot of pens. And then I also have some plastic envelopes for photos. I used to be um, a professional photographer and when YouTube started taking off, I actually retired from that job. So a lot of those are there because I would deal with clients and getting pictures and prints to them. And then it, back here in this drawer, I've got my ink for my printer, some more pens, some really fun watercolor supplies, and then safety pins. I don't know why there's safety pins in that one, but there are. <laughs> On the other side of my desk, you're going to see my wrapping station. I've got an old shoe stand holder that I put my ribbon on for now because I have a lot and I'm trying to get through it. Once I get a, rid of about half of this, I'm going to go back to my old rib, ribbon system that I had in the other house. I'll link that video down below if you want to see the old craft room tour. And then I've got the trash can that holds all of my wrapping paper so I can wrap my gifts and stuff on that long table. Now let's go into the packs system that you can pick up from Ikea. This was definitely an investment, but oh my word, it was worth it because it allowed me to have organized shelves for things. And keep in mind, this is still a hot mess for me. <laughs> I'm just showing you it in its rawness because I want you to see, wow, look at how much stuff you can put in these cabinets. The first one is the most organized. This is the kids supply craft closet. The very top has a Play-Doh um, kit of the month kits that are up there. And then the next one's got some more arts and paper and crafts. The next one has notepads and stickers, more paper for school supplies. And then the drawers, I designed these cabinets to have three drawers in this one. So that way I can put in the different supplies. So these, these paints, basically this section is pretty much Miriam's section. So she can come down and pick the colors that she wants to work with. And then this next one has a lot more adhesive and coloring utensils that she, utensils, coloring supplies <laughs> that she can use, some pipe cleaners. And then this last one you can tell is the, the biggest school supply drawer where it's got extra calculators, pencils, post-it notes, push pens, lead, scissors, tape, hole punch, you name it, it's in that drawer. And then down at the very bottom are some more Play-Doh supplies and moon sand. The next cupboard over, again, these are not organized fully yet. The next cupboard over has a lot of my sewing supplies in it. This one is going to be my sewing cabinet. And then the rest of them moving over, my goal is four of them are gonna represent one for each season. And those holidays that follow in those seasons, that is where that will be for like the winter time. It would be Valentine's Day, maybe St. Patrick's Day, but I don't really do craft for St. Patrick's Day. And then springtime would be Easter and spring and flowers, Mother's Day. Those type of holidays that follow in that season will be in those cabinets. This cabinet, I wanted a spot to be able to put all my tall stuff and wire stuff so that's that cabinet and then you can see here again it's not fully organized this one is probably better than the other ones you can see that I have kind of gotten some of my spring Easter stuff in that one but then there's like Christmas overflow <laughs> so this one's still a work in progress I'm definitely gonna eventually get all these super super organized to exactly how I want them to be but for now this is what it looks like I think if I waited any longer, you all would never see my craft room. And I know a lot of you have been asking to see the new house and the new craft space. This cupboard has some wood supplies in it, some plastic container type supplies, and then some fall stuff. So like in a dream world, this would have been all done before I showed everybody, but it's all right. I, it, we're all going to be okay. <laughs> I know I know you're all probably watching this and thinking, Heidi, you're being too hard on yourself. And I am, friends. I am so hard on myself about things like this. So these are the handles that are going to go on the cabinets. 
We haven't put those in yet, but eventually those are going to go in. I just think they're going to be so pretty and real easy to pull open. When you go and move over to the right again, you're going to see our little gym area. I am so grateful for this space. I've been working on strengthening my lungs again and being able to have that treadmill to walk on on days where I'm feeling up to it when the weather is cold outside. It's been really great. Here is my flower tower. This was a hit in my last craft video. I, um, I show in that other video from our other craft tour in the other house. I show how I did that. I just decided one day that I was sick and tired of having all my flowers be smushed in a box. And so I found some metal caging and I basically put all my flowers on there so I can see them. And they do get dusty, but I always just go over and I just dust them lightly once a week to make sure that they stay fresh and beautiful looking. So in this workout station, it really is just, you know, nothing heavy equipment, but something for to come down here and work on my health because I feel like I'm forever working on that, but aren't we all? <laughs> this sliding door is for a bathroom, but... Um, Really, it's the cat's room. That's where the litter boxes are for our two kitties. And I use it, though, from time to time. And then our kitchen sink area, a wet bar. I, I know these are called a lot of different things. I am most excited about this space because in the other house, I would have to go over to um, another bathroom, like around the corner, sometimes up the stairs. And it's such a wonderful space to be able to come over and wash my paintbrushes and be able to use the counter to let things dry when I'm working on it. And I don't want to keep it on my table while I'm moving on to other projects. This table, this counter space has been such a blessing. Plus all the cupboard space too. Friends, I am planning on doing a huge makeover to the space. I know that sounds crazy, but I am. The color that it's painted I didn't paint it that color. That's what the previous owners did. I have something so fun I'm going to be doing. But for now, this is what this space looks like. And I'll probably be doing that makeover probably middle of 2023. So keep a lookout for that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up. I had so much fun sharing it. The lighting was a little tricky today when I filmed it because we have been dealing with that winter weather. But I hope you felt inspired for your craft space to love it a little bit more, make it feel like you, and have fun where you decide to work and unwind each day. Please do click that subscribe button if you are new. And for those that are returning, thanks for being my friend. All right, until the next episode. Bye, friends.